Thomas and Friends: The Big Surprise. And if you want to buy the book, check in the link description down below. So the surprise day was the day where friends surprised each other and made each other laugh. Thomas and Charlie were making each other giggle, but Gordon wasn't impressed. So the surprise day is a silly day for silly engines. He huffed. <coughs> the fat controller arrived to tell them about the party that night at Callan Castle. He asked Thomas to collect the bunting from Maithwaite Station and Gordon to collect the fireworks from Brendam Docks. Thomas wanted to surprise Gordon, so he hurried ahead to the docks. On the way, Thomas stopped to talk to Rosie, who was putting coal trucks. When Gordon came down the track, Thomas blew his whistle loudly. Peep peep! Rosie jumped in surprise, bumping into her trucks. Soot flew everywhere, but Gordon wasn't surprised. He just huffed away. Thomas raced ahead of Gordon again. And hid in a siding with was shunting rubbish trucks. When Gordon's team passed, Thomas puffed out. Boo! Whiff jumped in surprise, bashing into his trucks. Rubbish flew everywhere, but Gordon still wasn't surprised. He just huffed away. Thomas dashed to arrive at the docks before Gordon, and he hid behind some trucks. When Gordon arrived, Cranky started to lift a crate of fireworks for him. I'll make Gordon laugh this time, Thomas giggled. He whooshed out from behind the trucks with a loud toot. Cranky was very surprised. He dropped the crate of fireworks with a crash and a bang. The crate broke open and the fireworks set themselves off, fizzing and whizzing everywhere. But Gordon still wasn't surprised. Gordon was cross. Your silly tricks didn't surprise me or make me laugh. Gordon said sternly to Thomas. I told you. So the surprise day was silly. Now I don't like it at all. The fat controller arrived, looking very stern indeed. Thomas, there are no more fireworks for the party, he said, and you haven't picked up the bunting. We will have to cancel the party. Thomas felt terrible. His silly pranks had ruined everything. Then. Thomas spotted Harold in the sky, and an idea flew into his funnel.、Oh, please don't cancel the party, sir. I know how to get Soda Surprise Day back on track, he said. Well then, said the fat controller. Gordon set off to pick up the bunting, and Thomas headed to the washing down to get clean for the party. Whiff and Rosie were already there. Once Thomas was clean, he puffed off to find Harold. Harold can help me save the day, thought Thomas. That night, Thomas steamed up to the party. Harold flew above him, decorated with fairy lights. It was a marvelous sight. Gordon beamed. I do like so the surprise day after all. He laughed. And Thomas was so surprised; he thought his boilers might burst. The end. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.